Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Avril and if you are new to my channel, I upload a video every Friday. So please stick around and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to support my channel. Hi everyone, thank you for joining. In today's video, I'll be sharing with you a simple and easy to do home deco hack. Wanna know how I transform this styrofoam into that home sign? Stay tuned! So guys, to start off this project, you will need to trace out your letters onto a styrofoam. Here you see me tracing out my letters onto a styrofoam I already got in hand. Once you are done tracing the letters onto the piece of foam, it is time to cut it out. Here I am using an X-Acto knife to cut out the letters which I have already traced onto the foam. I gently ran the knife through the areas which I have traced and then carefully pulled out my desired letter. Afterwards, I ran my hand through the entire piece of foam which I just cut out and cleaned it while making sure there are no extra pieces of foam. Once I was done with this process, I repeated it with the remaining letters. Now, the cutout foam letters are ready to be concreted. Here you see me mixing around 3 cups of concrete along with water till I get my desired consistency. The consistency for this project should be a little bit of a watery consistency since you will be soaking up your material in it. Here you see me ripping up some chuck wipes which I've got in hand as my fabric for this project. At this point, you could use any type of rag or fabric you've got in hand. After you are done ripping your fabric up, it is time to soak it up well in the concrete mix. Now the strips of fabric has been soaked up well in the concrete mix and it's ready to be wrapped. Here you see me wrapping around the soaked up fabric on the cutout shape. At this stage, you could wrap the fabric any way you choose to. This is an easy and simple way to customize the desired look you are after. Once I was done, wrapping around the entire shape with the concrete strips, I then filled up any gaps using the concrete mix and smoothened out the entire shape using my fingers. Afterwards, I repeated this process to the remaining shapes and set it out to dry. While the shapes were drying, I started on prepping my canvas boards for the next step. Here you see me using Rust-Oleum chalk paint in the color linen white to give my canvas boards a top coat of paint. I gave these boards two generous coats of paint and set it aside to dry. Now my concrete letters and my canvas boards are dry and ready for its next step. So guys, these concrete foam letters turned out perfectly but I wanted to give my boards and my letters a bit of a distressed look. Here I'm using two different colors of acrylic paint to get my desired look. Here I'm using the acrylic paint on the edges of the canvas to get my distressed look. I roughly applied the acrylic paint on the canvas using a sponge and then wiped it off. Afterwards, I used a darker color and used the same technique on all of my canvases. Then, I followed it by using an 80 grit sandpaper to sand the edges of my canvases to get my distressed look. Now my canvases are ready and it's time to start on my letters. Here you see me using the same application process on my letters using the acrylic paint. After I was done with my application, I then followed it by using a darker acrylic paint on the edges of my letters. And then using a damp cloth, I wiped the excess acrylic paint until I got my desired look. I followed this application process on all of my letters and set it aside to dry for the next step. Now the canvas boards and the letters are ready to be assembled. Here you see me using Corilla glue along with my glue gun to secure the letters on my canvas. After I was done applying the glue, I then centered the letter onto my canvas and then held it down tight to bond it well. 
I repeated this process on all of my letters and canvases. And this is how my beautiful piece of art turned out. I love to recycle products and this is a perfect example on how to create beautiful pieces of art. I would love to know what you think about this project. Please do leave any comments and let me know your feedback. Okay guys, hope you got inspired and enjoyed watching this video. Please give it a big thumbs up and don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell to support my channel and also to be notified every time I upload a video. Until next time, happy crafting.